Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Hopefully from Unity Lesson 1 you guys have created a sphere and a plane. And you guys have experimented with moving them around, experimented with flying inside your virtual world and so on. So now in Lesson 2 we're going to start doing a bit of scripting. But before we do that, make sure you have saved your scene. So to save, you're just going to go to File, Save Scene. And um, if you haven't already, you might have to type in a name for your scene. So File, I'll just show you by going Save Scene As. You type in the name of your scene. So I'm just going to put in Scene 1. Okay, and then your scene will be called Scene 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put this scene inside a folder. Okay, so if you underneath your project window, if you go to create folder and just put in a folder name called scenes and you can click and drag scene one into the scenes folder. And later on in this folder is where all your scenes are going to go. So the next thing I'm going to do is go back to the assets folder. I'm going to click right click create a material. And this is basically just going to be the color of the floor because I don't want it to be white. So I'll just say floor material. Again right click create a folder and put uh, call this folder materials and click and drag the floor into the materials folder and then click the floor material and what I want to do is choose a different color next to albedo just choose blue or something okay and then once it has a color I'm gonna drag this floor onto where the plane is and you can see the plane has turned into that color Okay, so save, control S. Now if you play the game, um, nothing happens. So nothing happens because you have not programmed the ball to do anything. So the ball behaves, behaves as if it's a static object that does not do anything. So click on the sphere. Now on the right hand side you'll notice some properties that the sphere has. For example, the coordinates uh, of where it's located. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and choose add component. So components are basically ways in which this ball can behave. So I'm going to add a new component and I'm just going to search for rigid and then there's a component called rigid body add that component and now you can see the rigid body component is now part of the sphere properties so what does it mean when a ball is a rigid body that means that it is now an object that exists with physics okay with some physics such as gravity such as rolling on the floor, colliding with other objects. It is now a physical object in your 3D world. So if you click play now, it now falls to the ground. Another cool thing is if you now rotate the plane, so click on plane, and then if you slightly rotate it, okay, if you slightly rotate it, look what happens to the ball it now rolls on the floor so that's cool so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add a script to the plane so that I can control it with my arrow keys so make sure you select your plane and I'm going to add a component for the plane and again I'm gonna add the rigid body component and I'm just going to tick is kinematic so that it does not become affected by gravity because I don't want the plane to fall on the ground. 
So if you play again, it's still the same as before. Okay, so what I'm going to do is add another component for the plane. And this time I want to add a script. So I'm just going to type in plane control. Now the name of the script, you can name it however you like, but I like it to make some sense to what I'm going to do. So that's why I'm calling it plane control. If you're writing a script to do something else, then you should name the script that way. So click on new script, plane control, create an ad. So you can see that you've added a new script called plane control. And underneath the assets folder, there is now a script. So I'm going to right click, create a folder called scripts. I'm going to move this plain control script inside the scripts folder. So you might say, why are you making folders to put one thing in them? Well, later on, this game should hopefully have more than one script, have more than one scene, and have more than one material. Okay, so go to scripts and um, go back to the plane, and you can see that the plane control script is attached to the plane. But what's in the script? So click on the gear icon, click on edit script, and you'll be able to see the code for the script. I believe it's showing up right now. Okay, so here's the code for the script. Now, it might look a bit confusing to you, but all you need to understand about the code is the structure, the structure of it. So you can see two things. Okay, you can see an update with a bracket or curly brace after it. Now, this space that I'm highlighting now with my mouse is where you type in the code if you want it to be executed continuously. Okay, if you want something to be executed continuously, you put it in here. If you put something in here, so underneath the start function, then what happens is this code is only going to be executed once. Okay, so at the start of the level. So instead of putting code here, I'm going to put code in here. So that's basically the main point of this is where you put the code. So I'm going to put in the code to get the input from my keyboard. So the code for that is very simple. It's basically float means that I'm going to accept a number with decimal points, floating point number. Float, uh, let's call it x rotation, x rotation equals input dot get axis. So what this means is I'm going to get the input from my keyboard or my um, joystick or whatever it is, how much you're moving in a particular axis, vertical or horizontal. So I'm going to say um, horizontal. Actually, let's just do let's just do vertical. Okay, and after I've done that, I'm going to apply this. Actually, let's just print it to the screen and see what happens. Debug.log bracket x rotation. So what this means is I'm going to output to the screen how much I'm typing on the keyboard. So save it, control S, press control S to save. Go back to Unity, play the game. And if it does play, if you go to console and you press the up down keys, oops, is it doing anything? Hang on. Um, 
flip exploitation input dot yes. Okay, let's try that again. So, up. So, see if you're pressing up on your keyboard, it turns into one. If you press down on your keyboard, it turns to negative one. So, it is working. So, basically, get axis just outputs a number between negative one for pressing down arrow, holding it down. And if you press up arrow on your keyboard, it goes up to one. Okay, so now let's try and apply that rotation to the plane. So I'm going to click transform dot rotate. Transform dot rotate. And I'm just going to apply the rotation in the X direction and Y and Z will have rotation of zero. So in the X axis it's going to rotate the amount that I have pressed on my keyboard. So let's control S save that and just see what what it looks like. So if I run this program and I press up and down on my keyboard it now rotates the plane. Okay, so let's do that again. So you can see the ball now is now reacting to my rotation. Um, so I'm now going to put in the Y rotation. Y rotation, uh, get axis horizontal, and I'm going to put in here Y rotation. So let's just see what happens. Control S, run the game. So if you press up and down, it rotates in this direction. If you press left and right, it rotates in this direction which is not really useful so let's go back and change that put Y rotation here I should probably name it Z rotation then Z so it makes a bit of sense okay so if I save that control S run it again in unity So up down it rotates in this direction, left right it rotates in this direction. Oops. It's not really going the way I want it because if I'm pressing the left key it actually rotates to the right. So let's put a negative sign here. Okay, let's try that again. Yes, it now rotates the way I want it to. Okay, so next lesson we're going to experiment with camera angles. Hopefully you guys have learned something today. See you next time.